What is up, everybody? Calvin Bowie, a.k.a. Captain Charisma. I'm in my kitchen yet again. And today we're going to do Torchy Tacos. It's a taco shop that has multiple units in the Texas area. And I got to say, I was drawn to them because of the names of their tacos. For example, there is a taco called the Trailer Park. Fried chicken, green chilies, lettuce, pico de gallo, cheese on a flour tortilla with poblano sauce. Now you can get it trashy and take it, take off the lettuce and add it in queso. Who wouldn't want to uh, do a food review on this? Another one, uh, there was called something called the Dirty Sanchez. Scramble eggs with a fried poblano chili uh, guacamole, especie, carrots, which is pickled carrots, shredded cheese, served with poblano sauce on a fresh flour tortilla. Dirty Sanchez. For those who don't know what Dirty Sanchez is, go and Google it right now. I'll wait for you. Okay, this is not Dirty Sanchez. Just to let you guys know, this is not a Dirty Sanchez. We have a bunch of tacos in here. And I also got some... Um, green chili queso and chips. So we're gonna go through these tacos, we're gonna go through the, the food. I got a Topo Chico heart seltzer, which I didn't get from Torchies, I got this from Costco. Got some Costco. Mm. Tropical mango is the flavor. You definitely taste the mango in it, which is really nice, nice and sweet. A little bit of tart and seltzers. I'm 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 doing the craze right now. I'm I'm in the the, the seltzer mindset. Is this bright enough? Yeah, this is bright enough, right? Yeah. Hold on. Let me try to change the light real quick. Uh, no, I look more. I look more funny looking. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's try that out, and uh, I think I should be okay. All right, let's try these. Oh, so Torchies, again, has multiple locations in Texas. Uh, you know, some people are like, oh, why are you going Torchies for? Because I want to give love to everybody. I want to give love to all the restaurants. Uh, yeah, of course, you know, we're always about small businesses. But does it mean that we can forget about the restaurants that employ a lot of people, they buy a, a, a lot of goods from the suppliers, and um, you know, we gotta we got we got share the love, we gotta give the love around. Okay, the first dish that I got was a green chili queso and chips, $4.95, Torchy's homemade chips. <laughs> With delicious green chili queso topped off with guacamole, queso fresco, cilantro, and Diablo sauce. Ooh. Okay. Show you guys what we're working with right now. Okay. Um, I love nacho cheese. <laughs> it isn't, I mean, queso is different. Queso is really well made. But I love anything cheese. I love anything you can scoop on a chip. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Chip, really good quality. I was a little worried when you put queso and guacamole together because one is warm and one is cold. Mmm. But they work. The Diablo sauce isn't as hot as I think I thought it would be. I was expecting like fire, but. Mmm. Go. Queso fresco, Mexican cheese. It is. Um, it is tart. It is crumbly. It is delicious. Mmm. All right. Four ninety five. I think this is really good. Mmm. Mmm.
I have nothing bad to say about that 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 case though. Not at all. Let's get to those tacos, right? Let's get to those tacos. Okay. So I have a bunch of sauces here. And I think that I need to put the sauce onto each of my tacos. But the only problem here is that I don't know which one is which. So together we'll figure it out. We will figure it out, right? How hard can it be? All right, first taco. I reached in. This is in uh, any order that comes out. First taco will be the Republican. <laughs> the Republican is a grilled jalapeno sausage, shredded cheese, pico de gallo, served with a poblano sauce on a flour tortilla. This comes in at $3. It is a sausage inside there. Let's open it up. Okay, there's cheese. There's grated cheese that has melted into the, um, into the tortilla. Shredded cheese, pico de gallo, pico de gallo. So I think this is kind of a do-it-yourself kind of deal. I don't, I don't mind that. My hands are clean. I watched them. I watched them before the show started. Um, serve the plobon, plo, plobanos. Why am I having a hard time saying that? Plobano. Plabano, Pablano, Pablano, Pablano. Those, uh, those syllables go together, but for some reason, it's not going well today. Okay, this smells like Pablano. Oh, there he goes, Pablano. Let's put some sauce inside. Now, this is very non-traditional, right? You don't really see somebody putting in a sausage into a tortilla. And call it a taco. But I don't mind because I want to try something different. I want to try something new. Uh, here we go. First bite. Mmm. 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 Oh, my God. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, that is delicious. Not only is the jalapeno sausage full of flavor, just studded with really big flavors, paprika, um, cayenne. Oh, God, it's so chili powder. I mean, it is so smoky. Um, but I like it. I... I, I <laughs> I have to say that, that that one really, really was good. The sausage is great. Great casing. Pops as you bite into it. The jalapeno sausage has cheese inside the middle. So it's a jalapeno and cheese sausage. Although they don't tell you that. Um, but the sausage is really well formed. The bite is great. The spices that they use are, are amazing. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Listen, it's not traditional. Not only did I not choose to have a corn tortilla, I chose the flour tortilla. Um, but, yeah, it, it's... God, this is such great trashy food. But done in such an elevated way. I'm loving it. Mm. Ah. Stay. Mm. All right. Mm. I love a good sausage. I love when that sausage just bites back. Man, that's good. All right, let's go for the next. Let's go for the next taco. Here we go. Next taco is the Democrat. What did I order today? 
All right, the Democrat is. Oh, I like how they. I like how they wrap it or wrap the packaging. You open it, and there's a lime sitting right here uh, in the corner, and then you pop that out, and then yeah, all right. The Democrat. I swear to God, this is not a political stance. I just uh, picked out four of the, their favorite ones. Okay. Shredded beef barbacoa. Let's see if it's the cheek meat or not. That's where barbacoa usually come from, comes from. Topped with fresh avocado, queso fresco, cilantro, onions, and a wedge of lime. Served with a tomatillo sauce. Tomatillo sauce. I'm going to say this is my tomatillo sauce right here. Um, let me smell. I think it is. I think it is. Now, how can I tell between those two? I think one is just more, one's more creamier, one's more greener. Um, let me show you the taco right here. All right. This is, you know, not really authentic, but I'm okay with not authentic. I kind of like the fact that they are you know, taking something so simple as a taco and elevating it. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with trying to get ahead. All right. What sauce is this then? Let me hold on. Before I, before I use the other one. Mm. This might be their house hot sauce. But hey, let's put this in. Give it a shot first. Mmm. Mm. Ah, their sauces are so good. How does a restaurant that has multiple, multiple locations, I mean, they have, corp they have a corporate office, able to create, like, food at this level? I gotta say, this, this is, so far, I'm really impressed. Two things, I'm really, like, like, kudos to you guys. Here we go. The Democrat. Mmm, that is really good. Mmm, the barbacoa is just so soft. Um, you can tell that this was a fatty piece of meat at one time because there is so much. It's so it's tender yet so smooth. All right, add some add some of the salsa in. Mmm. 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 Not only is the beef cheek barbacoa so flavorful and so tender, this salsa is amazing. God. Mmm. I gotta remind myself. There's still two more left. I shouldn't get so full. Mmm. Well, avocado, queso fresco. Yeah. Mmm. <coughs> I love the watch. <coughs> I love the watch of lime in there. Because it really, the acid really cuts through and really elevates the flavor. It really lifts up the flavors. I'm going to have some more um, queso while, while we're here. This is so damn good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. Two more tacos left. Left, right, left, left. Next taco is Taco of the Month. Damn it. I was on the taco of the month. I forgot to write it down. Okay, let's peek in there and see what we got here. Black beans. Carnitas. Pickled red onions. Sour cream. Onion and cilantro. Mm. Now the tacos... Uh, you know, maybe they don't, they don't look like beautiful as, you know, the, the taco truck tacos are. But I will say these are laced 
and packed full of protein, which I am saying thank you to. And wait, I'm which which sauce is which now? Damn it! Listen, it doesn't matter which sauce is which. All sauces are 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 absolutely delicious. I mean, I I know I I'm I'm bastardizing tacos right now by by not ordering corn tortillas. I'm bastardizing tacos right now because. Uh, I bought it from a chain uh, restaurant. But if you're hating on me right now, ask yourself, is, does your taqueria make, make food this interesting? There's a, there was a bar in there. There was sports playing on the, um, on the TV. There was, it was clean. I mean... Don't call me soft, but I tell you right now, this is good stuff. Mmm. Holy. Holy smokes. The Taco the Mother is called a kingpin. But there's no, they don't have the, the um, breakdown of it. That is great pork carnitas. There's some pineapple in there that's giving it an amazing amount of sweetness. Um, oh my God, this is so good. Mm. Mm. It's definitely playing on that sweet and savory uh, side. Mmm, the caramelization in the pineapple really brings out this. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm, mmm. Oh no, wait. Wait, that's not pineapple. That's plantains. That Those are sweet plantains, carnitas, sour cream, pickled onion. Mmm, my god. That is, Torchies, you made me a believer. You made me a believer that your food is phenomenal. My God, I, I get taqueria food, you know, I own taqueria, but we don't do things uh, like every other taqueria um, in Saigon. We really try to elevate our flavors, we try to elevate our techniques, and this is what I'm experiencing from torches right now. Food that is, yeah, it's, it's on a tortilla, it's, it's a taco, but it's just a vehicle to really tell a story. And my God, that is good. Plant, sweet plantains with roasted pork. That's, that is, somebody in the kitchen is like, what? They know what's up. Ew. If you are in Texas, get yourself a Torchies. No joke. No freaking way. I got the backlash on, on Instagram today asking me why did I go to Torchies for? There's plenty of other taquerias in town. And my my answer was really simple. I wanted to support everybody. You know, like I, I don't I don't care. Torchies is not authentic. I never eat authentic. Mm. All right. So far, three tacos have been insanely good. The last one here, let's see what it is. The trailer park. 
Now let's just explain to you what the trailer park is, what's in the trailer park first. Fried chicken, green chilies, lettuce, pico de gallo, cheese on a flour tortilla. Oh my God. This is like crack cocaine. <laughs> my God. Mm. Oh. Oops. This one I got with a, on a corn tortilla. But I'm totally cool with that. Like, I'm totally cool with that. All right. Fried chicken, lettuce, cheese, uh, green chilies. Let me put some pico de gallo in there. Woo! All right. First bite. I'm gonna really savor these bites because it's gonna be so good. Here we go. Mmm. 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 I always worry about like fried chicken in a taco. Mmm. Because you know, you're not a, you don't specialize in fried chicken. So it could possibly be bad, but this one, no, not at all. Chicken is super flavorful. The nice, uh, it's not crunchy as it used to be when I, when we first got it. Um, but the, the, the outside coating of the, of the, of the chicken, really good. But why do they call it the trailer park for? Mm. Here we go, next bite. Mm. These sauces are so freaking good. Mm. The poblano creamy ranch blended with Serrano's grilled poblano peppers. You know me, I love ranch. I eat ranch with anything if I could. Mm. I'm so sad that the bites are starting to, I'm starting to get to the last few bites. Mm. Mm. Here you go. Here's the last bite of this taco. Oh. I love you, Torchies. Thank you. Thank you, Torchies, for really creating an absolutely amazing experience and food that is uh, not your run-the-mill taqueria food, but really well thought out, really well executed. Oh. Good lord, good. Ooh. What is this? I still have my my Republican. Listen, two bites of this and then we'll wrap up the show. Oh god, so good. Hmm. Four tacos, bag of chips, queso. Mm, this is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to uh, have had this. Is that backlight? Oh. Mm, is that better? Oh, it is better. Oh, now I know. Huh. Now I know. All right, are these tacos um, interesting? Are, are, are they like, 
are they different than the normal taqueria? Yes, on all scales. Um, were they affordable? All right. Listen, a taco is going to run you on average about three fifty to four dollars, whereas tacos in a truck are about one sixty-five out in Houston. So, um, are they affordable in comparison to a truck? No, but I think for the creativeness. Um, I think for the creativeness, you pay the extra small premium. Was the location <clears throat> beautiful? Yes. Were the bathrooms clean? Yes. Was their bar fun to hang out at and pound a beer while we were watching basketball? And um, oh, we're watching baseball today. Watching baseball while waiting for the food that took probably 15 minutes yes and you know it, it what was it was it good excellent it was excellent this this was this is seriously a good good meal and listen four tacos at at four bucks a piece 16 dollars and then the chips were five, 21 bucks. Okay, maybe you could get the entire truck for $21. But sometimes you gotta go and splurge a little bit. And today uh, I splurged and I enjoyed the heck out of myself. My God, that was a good meal. Trailer Park, Kingpin, Democrat, Republican, and Queso and Chips. I think it was well, 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 well worth it. Torchy's Tacos, you really blew my mind when it comes to um, whatever you want to call your food, whether you call it Mexican, Tex-Mex, or just really good tacos. I think your food is really excellent. If you are in the area and you want to check them out, um, I'm sure you can Google them. Here we go, www.torchistacos.com. Uh, thank you, Tor Torchies, for uh, creating excellent food today. And I will definitely go back to Torchies again soon. Guys, if you enjoy this episode, or you might be saying, you know, Calvin, you are not authentic. You didn't go to a taqueria. Well, screw you guys. I'm the one who's eating, right? Um, Listen, we, we need to support all businesses. We need to get off the couch. Uh, although I did bring the food home. Um, I didn't get it delivered. So, you know, that's you know, plus one point to me. But we need to get off the couch. We need to get into the restaurants. And we need to support businesses. Small, small big, and medium size. Um, I think it's really important that we as a society go back to... Ooh, sorry. We as a society go back to our normal lives. We go out there and, um, and experience food, and, and 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 you know, dining is 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 a, what, is it, what is it called? Dining is a uh, dining is an experience, and we need to remember that it is definitely an experience. Thank you so much for sitting through not forty two minutes, only thirty minutes, twenty eight minutes. Thank you so much for sitting through twenty eight minutes while I review. Or I don't actually review anything. I just eat torchy tacos. Um, if you enjoyed the video that you just watched and you want to donate to the channel, there is a link down below for my Venmo and my PayPal. Uh, consider pledging one dollars, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, or I think this was like twenty-two bucks plus tip, so twenty-five bucks. Consider pledging twenty-five dollars uh, for this for this review so that. Uh, I can pay back this money for torchies, uh, but we had a great time. I, I, I have to say that I was a little bit skeptical at first with the names of the tacos and that they had multiple, multiple locations in various, city, various cities in Texas. But at the end of the day, I got something that was absolutely stunning. So with that being said, like the video, subscribe to the channel. 
Leave, it, leave your favorite taqueria in the comments below, especially if it's in the Houston area. Leave it down below and I promise you I will go to that taqueria and, 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 and give them some love too. I promise you that. I'm here for uh, one year, so what is that, 300 episodes in a year? I'll put aside 100 episodes for tacos. And I won't even count, I won't even count torchies as one of them. So go ahead and leave your top 100 taquerias in the comments below and I'll start chipping away at the, uh, the list. And um, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, filling me in on where you like to eat good food at. And uh, it can be, you know, something like torchies or it could be a, a taco truck or it could actually just be a, a you know, a, a, a um, Oh, I've, I've seen I've seen them even come out of like a truck before. I drove by and I saw some guy like making tacos out of his truck. So I'm cool with that. Anywhere you guys think there's good food, I'm down to go check it out. That's it. Torchies. Yes, definitely yes. And they gave me a bunch of napkins, which you know me. I use a, a S-H-I-T ton of napkins. Guys, my name is Calvin Bowie, a.k.a. Captain Charisma. This is my home, my kitchen. And this is, um, I haven't figured a name out from, from my home reviews yet. But this is me reviewing food at home. And I like it. I, I like eating at home. You know, go buy the food, drive home, crack open a drink so I don't drink and drive. And then I get the chance to just film without people watching me. Not bad. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, support small businesses, and go out there and go to Torchies because, man, that's, that's seriously good stuff. I will see you later. Talk to you soon.